Last year, we asked you, is Peter better than you? I guess he is, right? <laughs> but at what? He's probably better at me than at some things, but I'm sure I'm better at other things. I made this. The camera, please. I think we all know who I am. I know. I am Peter Artusa. From? From America. The greatest country in the world. Say bloody hell. Bloody hell! <laughs> I don't know about you, but this is my town. This ain't all counties town. Last year, we followed two competitors 10 minutes apart from each other. This year, we filmed what happened next. It was a great show. We had a lot of fun doing it. Chris and I, uh, Chris from All County Window Cleaning and me from Sparkling View, had a uh, great time destroying each other on camera for you. What has happened since? Since then? Yes. Well, I'm a year older. We've had our house vinyl sided. And I bought All County Window Cleaning. Did the little fish eat the big fish? Why did you sell your window cleaning company? Uh, it was just time to move on. Time to move on. Been doing all county window cleaning for 12 years now, and uh, when I first started the company, I really grew it to the point of what I pictured it being. I never pictured any farther than that. And it was uh, just time to go. Window cleaning resources growing super fast, and uh, in order for that to continue, I needed to concentrate my efforts on really just one project, even though we're doing a ton of projects here. Why Peter? Why Peter? Well, he had the money, and uh, we're buddies, and uh, he'd expressed an interest in purchasing it in the past, and really, he's probably one of the only people in the world I would trust turning it over to, to really not fuck it up. It's uh, a complex machine. When I turned it over to him, I said, now this Salt County window cleaning here is a giant maze, and I built the maze, and I'm the only one that knows the way out, so I'm going to drop you in there, and you're not going to know what to do. It's you know, there's gonna be a lot of working together and he's he's a sharp guy. He's one of the only people I trust really not to screw it up. Um, I just got to the office. Where is the Chevy? And um, what happened to truck two? Why is there a raincoat over the window? And why are all the storefront trucks parked all over the freaking place? Having purchased All County Window Cleaning, Peter and his wife Tammy have the massive task of running a window cleaning business large scale. All right, no problem. What happened to the truck? Uh, it's the guy took it. The one with the rain jacket on it? Uh, the window was broken, wouldn't go up. Oh. Are you looking at the figures, Tammy? I'm looking at all the, <laughs> how busy they are, so I'm like, yay! <laughs> all the way through May 9th they have up there, which is great. 
How often do you come in to the office? Uh, I come in usually once a week. I do work from the computer at home sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm able to log in. Yeah. But physically be here, I usually come in Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. And actually do the checks and pay the bills. And yeah. See what's going on and keep everything organized. I try to. Anyway. <laughs> because she swears to God she left us a check and she didn't. And, uh, what do you mean swears she left us a check? It's a long story. It's pretty really different. Two mm -hmm. guys. We, uh, we gotta make a check out to him. That's for the broken vase. They agreed when we just paid for one vase and not gonna accept the two. Mm -hmm. And this is for something they broke grids in a fucking window or something. They broke at someone's house. So those two checks have to be with Those I don't like. No. <laughs> I don't like paying those ones. <laughs> she did not put, apply this. Mm -hmm. so that'll let you look at it. This all has to be recorded, or I can do it on Monday. Okay. And uh, that's it. Get out of my chair. Yeah. <laughs> you may me that this is how we go. So most people, when they're booking appointments, are like this. Yeah, okay. Yes, ma'am. All County is the fucking best and we are the most fucking awesome. <laughs> so at the end of the day, being like this, my salespeople are bitching, well, my one who sits right here, because his neck is stiff, because it's like this all day. So what we have done to increase the efficiency of All County window plan. It's like being in, in McDonald's now. <laughs> Hello, Old County Window Cleaning. Bloody yes. hell. Bloody hell. <laughs> we do the Queen's House. Yes. 17 and a half stone. Yes. And you can see, I can get up. Yes, Mrs. Queen. Yes, absolutely. Bloody hell. <laughs> and I'm still talking to the Queen. So that is our efficiency. This is what we do. So it's about 20 past four in the morning and I've got David, Pete's operation manager, coming to pick me up in about 10 minutes. What have I let myself into? <laughs> Hey Dave. Hey Mike. A little bit early. <laughs> it's not early. This this is this is not uh, I don't get up at this early in the morning. <laughs> this is normal for me. This is normal. Okay. <laughs> David, you have a new boss. How do you feel about that? Feels good. It's uh it's a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same same thing we're doing every day, you know. Um, most of the same, the same people are still here. Not much has changed. Has your job got easier? And if so, why? No, my job hasn't gotten any easier. Um, I mean, I <clears throat> picked up where uh, the old manager left off, so now I'm doing a little bit more. Cause he didn't do too much when he was here, but I'm doing a little bit more taking over what he did. But the, at least I have Ron now who's uh, going out and doing the, the running around for the most part. And it's nice just having an extra hand once in a while. You want to grab the, this cart right by the window? Yeah, and there's stamps on like this. What you got here? Um, I'm putting uh, thank you cards on for each for each job. Mm. They give them to the customer. They already have a stamp on them. The customer sends them back. Mm. It just it's like a little survey card. You get 10% off their next service. Mm. But they return one. After Dave had prepared the schedules for the day's work, the staff begin to turn up. 
Hey Sean. Hey. How you doing? You alright? Yeah. Yeah. How you cool. doing? Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. So you uh you come here for your equipment? Uh yeah, I got these guys out on the road. So uh, you are doing all the route work? Yeah, yeah, all the commercial work. Cool. Scott? Yes sir. How long have you used this um hydro cart for? Um how long have I used it? Yeah. Um about a year. Mm. Um I went from uh not really looking to use it, not liking to use it, um, to now realizing that you know it's it's a very very uh, useful tool. You see the benefits in it. Yeah, it's a yeah. very useful tool. I mean, it cuts the time at the job, mm. and um, you know it also uh, allows you to not you know have to deal with ladder setting situations where it's hard to get to windows. Keeps you, know, you safe as well. Absolutely does. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Try and use it at every job. <laughs> Do you like running your company, Peter? Of course I love running my company. I love fucking running my company. You've got the wrong shirt on, by the way. No, I don't. Because this is the mother plant. <laughs> this is what started it all. Sparkling View. <laughs> and our corporate name is Sparkling View. So we're in good shape. Pete, can I ask you what the most challenging thing has been for you with this transition? I mean... We keep saying you went from 0 to 16. You really have. I really have what? I'm sorry. Gone from 0 to 60. 0 to 60? Mm. What does that mean? From, from a small British company to a... Yeah. Slime? Yeah. Um, you're right, I have. But <clears throat> the most challenging part of this whole transition has been getting through the first winter because of the uh, it's like the <coughs> you had the worst winter and the wrong time to start something the, uh, like this the worst winter that this area has seen in probably 20 plus years so getting through that um, was tough mm. but we did it and we did it very well and uh, we are kicking ass now Morning. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, do you know Dave's around? I'm Dave. Oh, Dave. How you doing? You're uh, Kevin's friend? Yeah, Kevin told me to swing by. Uh, All right. Got a resume for you. All right, cool. Um, if you want to just fill an application, too. Just put uh, Kevin's friend on top of it so I can remember. All right. Um, I'm not sure exactly when we're going to hire a couple more people, but we I'm sure we will within the next month or so. Okay. I don't want to promise you anything. All right. But, um... I'll definitely let you know. Okay. Um, yeah, the only thing was, like, I'm on unemployment from New York. And mm -hmm. It's a huge headache. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. If you, if you have, like, a spot open as soon as possible, All right. I'll jump right on it. All right. How's your driving record? Uh, perfect. Last good job of driving. Nice. Can you drive stick? Yeah. All right, cool. I drove for uh, BMW and we did deliveries of new cars to Manhattan, Bronx. Oh, nice. Nice. This guy, <laughs> this guy is telling us that we told him that we we went there last spring to do his uh was it spring or it fall? It was summer. Yeah. He got the eight million nine special. Seen it, but it's not that drastic. Um, 
we went and did his windows, right? And the crew asked him, like, do you want to leave these all for the rest of the winter? Because a lot of times they take them off for the winter time. He's like, yeah. He's like, and then he told them when we come back to do his windows in the springtime that we would put his screens back on, which of course we will. We'll clean them and put them back on his windows. But he's saying that we told him we would just come back and put his screens on for him. He has 100 windows. He has 105 windows to be exact. 105. So he misunderstood. Yeah, it's true. and he's trying to say that we would just come out for free, which we don't do. So and there's no way a tech would say that. Who would he report that to? I have no idea. I don't know what he's trying to get at. I'm not <laughs> going out there for free. So would you get arrested for not putting his screens back in? Maybe. Here, <laughs> 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 That's nice. <laughs> I don't know, but he left a really nice voicemail for us yet again. So I'll call him right <laughs> Ron is en route to estimate a job. Phone calls. Good morning. How are you? I'm Ron. I called you a little bit ago. <laughs> no problem. Ron? Yes. Hi, yes. nice to meet you. How are you? This is Lee. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> this is intense. Hi. This is who? Lee? Lee, yes. Hi, Lee. Yes. All right. The videographer. Yep, okay. yep. Uh, doing a little, um, a little uh, documentary on uh, how we do things. So. Oh, okay. All right. All right, um, super. All right. They had mentioned you wanted to get some uh, windows done that you had a hard time reaching or you couldn't reach. Uh, does that include the entire outside of the house or? Well, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to estimate all the windows. Okay. Okay, all the windows, all the skylights. And then I've never had this done before, so I have okay. no idea. Okay. What the cost is going to be, and Crystal was wonderful. Oh phone. yeah, Crystal's yeah, very she was nice. Wonderful. Yep. Um, so we started going through all the windows, mm -hmm. and you know I've got a lot of different windows. Right. I've got a lot right. of windows. So for example, I don't want to clean those ever, you know, <laughs> from the outside. But yeah. I can do the bottom ones on the inside. So right. So I'm going to ask like for a two-tiered estimate. Okay. The whole thing. Okay. Um, and then, uh, and then you know, the ones that I can do. And I guess, you know, it's pretty obvious the ones that I can do and the ones that I can't do. Right, right. Um, okay. So do you think you could do that? I could definitely do yeah. that. All right. And it said you have about um, 10 skylights? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My husband's comfortable with the price, you know, we'll yeah. do the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. But I really don't mind cleaning windows. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, once you get a, a professional window cleaning company to come in and actually oh, clean I'm the sure. windows, you're going to see such a big difference. You'll be like, you know, what, what, have, what have I it's been doing wrong? <laughs> you know, I have to be honest with you. Like, oh, yeah, well, the birds, sure, yeah. I, I don't wash my car very often either because I think, oh, I'm going to wash it, you know. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, okay, and these so, guys here too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Two there. Okay. And yeah, you would count those two windows, right? This yeah. would be one, and that would be one. So you'd oh. have one, two windows oh, right here. Oh, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, because Crystal was explaining the casements. Yeah, it gets hard when, when you start getting in the casements and they're yeah. in weird spots. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Okay. Those two up there? Yep. Okay. Um, this one's they're technically not a palladium. Yeah, because okay. yeah, we, we judge it by anything that you would need above a six-foot ladder inside to clean um, this one's a six foot ladder uh, yeah. that's not not a palladium okay. all right so we got but i did have painters one, use ladders skylights. oh yeah getting to them i'm not yeah. I'm not worried about yeah hey mike Hi. this We're is my husband me. mike how yeah, are you man, yeah <laughs> this is ron and lee how are you doing good man so do you want to ask any questions before you go off will they be clean when you're done once we get everything scheduled, yeah, yeah, they'll be cleaned up. Um, definitely be cleaned. Uh, these don't look like much of an issue. Yeah. And guaranteed, if there's something we're not happy with, they come back. Oh yeah, right? yeah. If you notice anything after we leave, uh, we come back, you know, free of charge. Great. Thanks. Fix anything up. Yeah. No problem. All right. And then uh, these four as well. Um, yes. Okay. Yes, but again, the inside the or ones. outside only on the bottom, yeah. in and out on the top. Yeah. 
I'm, we're doing like a two-tiered estimate. Okay. I'll Everything. Okay. See you later. All right. <laughs> see you, hon. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. And then we'll do. And then you'd want a estimate for everything, right? The yes, whole yes, thing, yes, yes, and then yes, yes. the estimate for what yes. we're going over now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no problem. I know I'm it but no, it's all right. And then again, um, once the the supervisor gets on site, you can you know kind of point to him and give him direction as yeah. well. Yeah. You know, or whoever it may be. Okay. Um, just to you know, so they have an understanding of everything, because I can put it on paper but right. it might not transfer over very well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I thought you did all estimates like that. <laughs> After talking with the homeowner, Ron carries out a check and window count of the property. Any mistakes here could mean underpricing the job. So, how have you been taught to estimate? Um, in terms of, well, we have uh, all supervisors are required to take a window counting test. Um, kind of a course. We have a whole book with different types of windows and stuff in it. Um, you know, and then. We, we take it until we get 100% on it. Um, we have to really be sure we know what we're looking at uh, before we can give a price to anybody. Um, and how to count specific windows, uh, we might count them a little different than other companies, um, but at, at the end of the day, uh, we think they get the best, yeah. the best pricing for what they have, yeah. How's your working relationship with Ron? It's good, we get along good. Um, he knows what to do, he knows window cleaning, he's been doing it forever, he knows power washing, roof washing, all that, so um, I don't have to explain stuff to him. He, I, just learning the computer stuff, he's he's learning that, and uh, but he's doing fine. I don't know why the guys look the sills like that. Um, sometimes you wonder what goes through their heads sometimes. Holy oh, shit. Dirty sills. Dirty sills. And some of them were worse, some of them were better. Alright. So th yeah, this isn't even the one that was underneath the deck. No, the none of them are talking them. about. They, I'll guarantee you what touched. they're gonna say. I'll guarantee you what they're gonna say is all that they couldn't climb under the deck to do it. That's what he said. He Listen, said that's what he bought from inside. She was talking about, but it wasn't. He said no. it was all. I did it all from inside. With a step stool. Which there was 14 of them down in that basement, so they had no excuse. Yeah, they didn't do a good job cleaning the sills out. Mm. They didn't do any job cleaning the sills out. So what happens? They lose they money? They lose half their commission for that job. Mm. I mean, it was a small job, but I think it was like a hundred fifty dollar job, but they made one. Probably like at least twenty five dollars. Is that much of a deterrent? I suppose because of the value of the jobs, not that. For bigger jobs, it's a huge deterrent. Mm. If they have a job that's all day, mm. then uh, it's a thousand dollar job or something, then mm. they're gonna lose a lot of money for it. Mm. So maybe they just didn't give a shit at this one. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Very friendly with most of the competition that's still in my area. Uh, but the biggest competition of mine is now mine. Mm -hmm. so we bought them out. 
that's really about it. How did the deal go down? Oh, I remember it pretty well. I was actually walking right over there. Peter was here picking up some supplies at Window Cleaning Resource. I looked really stressed out. He's like, ah, what's the matter? I said, I'm just stressed, man. I'm just doing a lot of stuff. And he's like, well, don't forget. I said, you know, anytime you want to sell, I said, you know what? Let's talk about it. And uh, we talked about it and went back and forth a little bit. Some uh, big contracts were drawn up. And, um, you know, 15 to 30 days later, the deal was done. We ended up not even doing any contracts whatsoever. We did the whole deal on a handshake. So what was it like to take on all this massive responsibility? <clears throat> uh, it was interesting. It was scary. Uh, but extremely exciting. And we are uh, really running all county to its maximum efficiency. When I first met Pete, I thought, is this guy arrogant or cocky or what? But when you get to know Pete, you find out that he has a heart of gold and that he's just a very confident guy that knows what he wants when he wants it. And he goes after it. So, <laughs> we all love Pete. We all love Pete. Everybody loves Pete. I love Pete. I love myself. He loves himself. I fucking love myself, man. <laughs> I know he appreciates your support as well. He better, because I have a knife in my hand right now. <laughs> and he's not that far away. Jake can also Jay fan too. At the end of the day. <laughs> Jake can also fan too. Oh, I know you can. <laughs> do, you need, do you need to learn kickboxing to do the payroll, you know, just in case you get a little trouble? You know, do if you I get it. Do you want to show you around? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, she wants exact times and dates when you're going to be there. You're going up on Monday. Yeah. You haven't been here yet. No, it should have been, been this Monday. But see, failure is not an option. I don't fucking fail, dude. I don't fail.